Good morning. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very interesting man. His name was John Grass. That was his English name. He was known as Charging Bear as a child. Uh, born in 1837. He said, put wings on your feet. Listen to your ancestors right from your heart. Bring these lives, times, and lead to life. The people we are so long and been depicted from the white perspective as wooden Indians. This book will not only correct historical fact, educate the world on the health, beauty of this culture, and remind everyone that the people have suffered and survived. It will illustrate through your words the goodness and greatness of the race and the sensitivity, integrity, and courage of each individual. John Grass is a member of the White Horse Riders Society, fought a little bighorn. He was a Blackfeet chief. And the Black chief and two kettles always came together. They had international ties. And he was the grandfather of Sisola, Father used him as a shield. Charging Bear was his first name. He was married to Camp Sika, I M A N I P I W I N, Walking on Shells woman, along with her two sisters. Daughter of Chief White Swan, um, Camp Sika. Independent drugs down woman, son of white swan, fine weather. Fine weather's daughter married Francis Bullhead. Mother was Mary of Camp Seek and Drags Down Women. Camp Seek sisters and drags down women, both daughters, chief of wife swan. Her sister of John Gross's. Tawaki Waste Win, Thoughtful Woman, Son of John Gross, Gr uh, Grass, Own Spotted. It's, it's a very interesting line of uh, his genealogy. Many pictures of the man available online. Now, a four short biography. Um, he was born in 1836 and lived until um, 1918. He was the chief of the S-I-H-A-S-E-P-A, or Blackfeet Band of Lakota people during the 1870s through the 90s. He fought at the Battle of the Little Bit Bighorn in the summer of 1873 and led his men against the Pawnees in Nebraska near the Republican River, killing between 75 and 100 men and mostly women and children, although the extremities of death ranged up to 150. He was known as Charging Bear as a child. He was born near Drain Rapids in South Dakota in 1836. Both his father, used as a shield, and grandfather, Sekola Barefoot, were important Sahasapi in leaders. When he was three years old, he was baptized as a Jesuit mission, and he uh, he was married to three sisters, including Cecilia Walking Shield of Lakota Ceremony in 1867, and in <coughs> 1894, he, he and Cecilia renewed the marriage vows in a Roman Catholic ceremonies. Um, he had four children. Uh, he was attended the Carlisle India in Industrial School in, in Carlisle. And he learned how to read and write and speak English. In the uh, 1850s and 60s, he participated in battles against tribal enemies. He was a member of the White Horse Riders Association. And from the 1870s until his death, he served as Chief Justice of the Court of Indian Defenses for the Standing Rock Agency in North Dakota. Together with his friends, uh, 
H-U-N-K-P-A-P-A, Warrior Guild Grass, advocated for formal education and agricultural lifestyles for the tribes as a means of survival. He fought the U.S. government's efforts to take more Lakota lands and in 1888 led a widespread resistance to Pratt Commissioner's attempt to break the Great Sioux Reservation. However, the land was sold under the Cross uh, Commissioner's oversight in 1868. The U.S. government failed to honor its treaty and statutory obligations. In 1902, he, Grass led a, de uh, a delegation to Washington, D.C. to convey Lakota's grievances to the federal government. I apologize for my dog. He's 14 years old. As I noted, um... He did live quite a while past this, but I did find an interesting story written by him in the newspaper on um, September 2nd, 1889. Noted Indian dying. Chief John Grass of the Blackfeet Nation believed to have been poisoned. He was, um, he was an advocate of Sitting Bull, and he was a leader among the general uprising. No, a, a no massacre other than the general Custer massacre at Last Little Bayhorn has been so much excitement among the Sioux as now John Grass, the great chief of the Blackfoot and famous orator and um, lawmaker has given to the Sioux Nation is dying of a sunstroke and it is alleged by his friends of the um, effects of herbal poison mixed with his food by a brood of young bucks who are um, alliances are with Sitting Bull. The poisons have led to Sitting Brook where Sitting Bull and the Indians medicine men were attending grass have abandoned all hope of his recovery. He's delirious most of the time and is uh, a, a medical man has been dispatched. And with his mother-in-law by his side, he is very ill. Now, we know that he lives um, for another 13 years. So this is an obvious attempt at his life. He is now, he's... Highly complimented by Governor Foster, Chairman of the Sioux Commission, and uh, roundly cursed by Sitting Bull, who said his band of incapacities were the only real Indians left. Grass and his followers being no better than squaws. So apparently Sitting Bull now lo no longer thought he was a great man. He... Um, he did advocate that these um, people would be more into learning and more into education. But this is a uh, thing where they think that he's going to die at any time. Fear for least he should be removed before his, um, his bull squirrel accounts. Sitting bull sent two of his young men here, and it is claimed that they had poisoned the food which was served, who had been at Zest Door and at the camp in Oak Creek since, Saturday, since last Thursday. Friday night, they stole two ponies belonging to the sick chief and departed to the, in the direction of Standing Brook. If gross, grass dies, there will be a general uprising among the Sioux, and Sitting Bull will be ma making a lot of trouble. Now, this is the story of um, how they wrote it many years before he died. It's an interesting story. Uh, the man lived in a very exciting life, and... I think there should be more written about him. Um, it's all available. 
to anybody that wants to go online. And um, I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.